hello and welcome to tricks of the asteroid channel today is the 25th of june 2017 and on today's video we have gabby douglas now um before i get into gabby douglas i would just like to say i mean if it's your first time on the channel and this is your first time watching the video i would advise that you pause this video right here and go look for the primer video on this channel first because if you do not watch the primer video a lot of the things that I'm gonna say is not gonna make any sense to you you're gonna be asking questions and saying what is he talking about you won't have the basics or the foundation right for you to keep watching videos on this channel so you need to watch the primer video first I'm gonna show you in a second how to get to the primer video on this channel so let me show you how to get to the primer video the primer video will be I think one of the oldest videos on this channel it's named primer just like I say right there so that's the primer video you need to watch it if you don't a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna say isn't gonna make any sense to you so also there's a document that's attached to every video on this channel I mean when you pick up a video any video at all you have that document so all you need to go you need to do is go to the description section of uh, any video click on show more like I'm doing right now and you find a link right there when you click on that link it will take you to this document it's called male versus female visual differences you need to study this document if you're interested in transgenders because even though this channel features a lot of transgenders the channel is not about transgenders the reason why we talk about transgenders is because they are fruits of the tree that you can see that you can relate to all right the tree itself is the Vatican the root is the Vatican all right but the fruits that you can see so you can identify what type of tree that you're looking at is the transgenders it's not a transgender channel if you're interested in pure transgendering I expect that you study this document if you've stud if you've not studied this document and you ask me a question about transgenders I may or may not answer because I have to refer you to this document you just need to study this document and keep training your eyes to see you can do this at home you can you can look nude at yourself you can call anybody who's nude who of the opposite sex who would want to strip for you so you can actually see if what I'm saying or if the document is actually correct or not because truth being told all right we are all scientists you don't need to go to a school and get a degree to be a scientist all you need to do is observe make observ observations away from what you've been told make real observations we are all scientists there's no need for you to go to school to be a scientist you can observe things around you away from what you've been told or what you've been taught or indoctrinated in schools or whatever the case might be look at it yourself and then you see that's how science is studied all right or how that's how science is made by observation you do the observations away from whatsoever you've been told and you get to find out if what you're looking at is real it's true or what they say and that's what a document does a document is based on observation things that you can relate to every single day so if you're purely interested in transvestigation even though this we feature a lot of transgenders on our channel the channel is not a transgender channel we are dedicated to showing you truth all right so because a lot of people don't understand how to make sense of the world we're trying to show you how everything connects that everything happens for a reason all right so you can understand and make the connections so when stuff's happening around you you just think it's random or it's coincidence there's no such thing as coincidence you actually know what's going on so this document you have to study if you're purely interested in transgenders only because some people come to the channel and I talk about a lot of stuff from beginning to end and the only part they hear or the attention is fixed on is the transgenders all right so if you're interested in that please study the document 
I may or may not answer any questions if you do not or have not studied the document. So with that said, I'd like to welcome you to the channel. And, um, and as I usually say before I get deeply into anything, I would like to let you guys know that we are not against transgenders. We are not against anybody who wants to live an alternative lifestyle in any way, shape or form. We have no authority over transgenders to judge a transgender, all right? We have no authority over anybody who's, who's reached the age of adulthood. That means you've reached an age in which you can make a decision and think for yourself, not being influenced by people, but you make that decision on your own after careful thought and you're an adult. We're not against you in any shape or form. That's your life. God gave each and every one of us the um, he gave us the authority. He gave us the ability to live your life any type of way. He gave you full reign over your life to make whatsoever decisions you want to make and live any type of way. And he remains the judge, not us. Right? He gave you the right to your own life, to live your life the way you want it. So if you're an adult and you make the decision and say you want to live a hoax and a fantasy of being a gender that's different from the gender that you were born with, that's totally up to you, all right? We have no such things against transgenders or homosexuals or anybody who wants to live an alternative lifestyle. So um, with that said, like I've always said, and I need to say it clearly so you can hear it, all right, that the people who are behind taking kits, manufacturing kits, maybe true in vitro fertilization and providing the surrogate parents to carry these babies. And when these babies are born, these babies are taken, right? Castrated or mutilated as the case may be, forced and fed hormones to live in a sex and gender that's not the sex and gender that we're born with as products so they can be used for whatever the Vatican deems fit right to be used for their own tools so th this the best one of this one this is one of the best ways i can explain it okay if you have a company right let's say you have a very big company and um you want the company to run very efficiently you you're finding people you can trust to run your company now the question i'm gonna ask you is this who are you gonna trust the most are you going to trust somebody that you raised, let's say a son or daughter, somebody that you raised? Or will you trust somebody else that you do not know that you have to hire from outside to run your company? I am sure the answer would be someone that you've raised. So that's what the Vatican does. They raise these children as products for them to be used to run the company. So they put them in very uh, in different spheres of life and aspects of life to be gatekeepers, loyal servants that they can trust. All right. That's why you need to watch the Prima video, because I explain that so that you can understand what's really going on here. So it's the Vatican that's behind this because they own everything. They own everything. Literally, when I mean that, I mean that they have their hands in everything from the shower heads in your houses, in your apartments, to the underwear that you wear. It doesn't matter what name brand you have. The Vatican has somebody in it. Proxies they use, families they create to use to run the world. So you would not know that it is them. All right? So it's the Vatican. So uh, now before I get into um, um, Gabby Douglas, as usual, I always like, you know, just sharing some of my thoughts now one of the thoughts i want to share with you is that um if you ever because i like i always say on this channel that you can't trust anybody you see on tv you can't trust your so-called pastors because they don't tell you any truth and i've told you the reasons why they don't tell you any truth is because one any pastor who doesn't tell you that the vatican is your number one problem is the greatest problem in the world all right the greatest enemy of humanity is not telling you the truth the second thing all right 
this most of these organizations called churches i call them indoctrination centers are all schooled by the vatican all right the people running it are freemasons owned by the vatican it doesn't matter if his name happens to be kenneth copeland it doesn't matter if his name is joel austin it doesn't matter if his name is um uh, what's his name again? Uh, this guy, uh, this man from Houston, is it Houston or Texas or Dallas, Texas? T.D. Jakes. Doesn't matter if his name is T.D. Jakes or Creflo Dollar. They are all Freemasons because they never tell you the truth. So one of the things I wanted to say is, for example, when you meet someone and he tells you that he's a man of God, because that's the term that most likely most likely use. They say I'm a man of God or they say stuff like God revealed this to me. I had a true revelation. All right. You should run as fast as you can. Because they're most likely telling you a lie. You'll never hear me say amongst everything that I say that God revealed this to me. I never say so. Because I don't want to lead anybody astray. I want to give you the truth the way it is. God inspires. Don't get me wrong. God can inspire you to do something. If you believe in the true God of the Bible, of the Geneva Bible and the King James Bible, all right, he can inspire you. He doesn't speak through me. All right. He inspires me. I get the knowledge that I get. I can say I get the knowledge that I get. But with facts. So anybody who tells you he's a man of God or blah, 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 whatsoever, and does not have any facts to back up what he's saying in the physical world, not abstract things, things that you can relate to and see physically, all right? You should run away. Don't listen to that person. He's probably going to lead you astray, okay? So that's one of the things I wanted to um, to let you guys uh, and know. And, and another thing I wanted to let you that you know, that you have to be careful like I've always said don't not, do not trust anybody you see on TV if you happen to see me on TV all right and they say this is tricks of the astray that you've heard about on TV please do not listen to me anymore that means I have been bought and vetted TV tells you a vision that's the meaning of television tell a vision means tell you a vision it doesn't mean it's true it's a lie a lot of people get their source of information from TV and they're getting indoctrinated. They're getting killed. For example, Oprah. Oprah has killed more people with her words than with anything else that she's ever done. Because Oprah is there to indoctrinate you, tell you lies. It doesn't matter what name they come from. Oprah has sent so many people to their graves early from her words. Because she's a Freemason as well, led by the Vatican to indoctrinate you and control your mind. Because like I've always said, you can't control anybody unless you control their minds. That's just the way it works. If you can't control my mind, you can't control me. Alright? So I want you guys to remember that, please. And um, also, um, before I get into the video properly, now I have to put up some um, warnings, all right? If you do not like truth, if the truth is something that you're not very comfortable with, I advise you to pause the video right here and do not watch it further from this point because I'm going to speak some truth. And sometimes truth hurts if you do not like it all right another thing there are channel rules in place in leaving comments if you're gonna leave a comment about a transgender you're gonna argue against or for someone you have to provide facts you have to provide links to the pictures and videos that you use as facts all right otherwise those comments are going to be deleted and those facts have to be centered around the fact that the female skeletal structure is designed to give birth. And so because of that design, the female skeletal structure has an S-shaped spine, all right, or an arch in the back, a tilted pelvis forward so that a baby can stay inside the womb, a wide pubic arch, 120 degrees or more for the pubic arch, 
in which males have 90 degrees or less and also the hips are of a female the hip joints or the trochanter in technical terms hang below the crutch so if your comments do not provide those facts please don't make any assumptions don't say i think don't even put the person's name on the comment because to me that sounds like mudslinging you know a lot of us don't like people calling out calling us names or saying we are something with no facts if you're gonna call me a thief you should provide the facts that I stole from you you just can't label my and muscling my name throughout without providing facts that's just the way I reason okay so if your comments don't start with that and you start talking about Adonis belts uh, index fingers or ring fingers longer or longer arms and jaw lines and all that I'm gonna delete the comment because you're not saying anything that has to do with childbirth index fingers ring fingers jaw lines long arms long legs long torso do not have anything to do with birth they don't give birth that makes complete logical sense so if the comments include that it's gonna get deleted that's it and another thing please leave children out of it because somebody some people just talk about like blue ivy in jay-z's kid and saying is he transit that's a kid let the kid grow if you want to call it something let the kid grow. let kids be kids for crying out loud when they grow up and reach the age in, in which you can question about their sexuality then you can do so but let these children be children I'm sure we wouldn't like people calling out our children if you have one right names when the kid is not innocent it doesn't even know all right remember when you were a kid you were innocent so let kids be kids leave the kids out of it so nobody should be sending me any comments about kids or what this kid or not no let the kid grow when he reaches the age in which we can say okay blah 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 then we can talk about it then but for now let's leave it aside all right so please remember that before going on to uh, uh, before leaving any comment on the channel all right so um, before I get into um, the video on Gabby Douglas um, I know I, I've talked a bit for a bit for now I just wanted to bring a comment that I did see here now this comment actually comes from a I don't know if it's a girl it's a guy I'm just trying to show you how brainwashed people are and the comment here says Jack from is from Jackie Halaby right or Halaby I don't know how to pronounce the name right he said you can't say that transgender women are not women and that is on Marilyn Monroe video now this is one of the brainwashing you know uh, uh, you know confusion that the Vatican breeds so before I, I even talk about the comment you have to understand this you know how sometimes you know men and women maybe you're a man and you're a woman all right and you wonder about how the opposite sex feels or does things so for example someone could question if you're a dude you could ask questions like okay how does it feel to be a woman I mean how does it feel to have like maybe a female genitalia or something like that I want you guys to know then immediately you start asking those questions beyond the normal answer that a woman gives you you have to know that that's one of the tricks of the devil of those demonic forces which the Vatican has been listening to and has programmed into the world and into TV those are one of the demons who are trying to force ideas about you to be confused about your sex don't question what a woman or a man how it feels to have a genitalia or not those are one of the tricks of how the demon gets into your mind and before you know it when you dwell upon it for so long it floods your mind and controls you and the next thing that you start thinking about is starting to think about that you ought to be in a gender that's different from yours it's just a warning that so you know what's going on when those thoughts come into your mind thoughts do not just drift into your mind there are things around you that impel those thoughts that inspire those thoughts so you have to be careful all right it's just my own 
uh, observation that I made, all right? Now, the reason why I said this is because this person asked me a question here, it was Jackie Halabai. She said, uh, you can't say that transgender women are not women. From me, I know from the get-go that this is a thinking that is inspired by devils themselves. Because you have to understand that a man carries X, Y chromosome in his body. A female carries X, X chromosome. Two X's make you a woman. One X and one Y makes you a man. So how in the world can a transgendered man be female when everything is wrapped around in the DNA? The DNA still remains XY. No matter the estrogen the man takes, no matter the surgery he goes through to try to look feminine, no matter the breast he grows or implants, the DNA is still XY. That is not a woman. That is is a man so the Vatican who's at the forefront of all of this confuse people so even though you are looking at a transgender because your mind has been tuned your mind has been brainwashed your mind has been trained you get confused and you think that a man can turn into a woman or a woman can turn into a man vice versa it can't it's not possible the chromosomes and DNA are stamped. It's XX for a female and XY for a man. So that's just what I wanted, one of the comments that I wanted to bring to your attention so you can note. Now, before I get into um, um, the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still talking right now, you know, as usual, because I always like sharing what I have with everybody else. Um, there is something that I was thinking about and I thought that I should um, talk about. Now, here is a map of the world now. Um, this is the true map of the world. It was your first time. This is uh, like, they call it the flat earth map, the map, all right? The world is actually flat, all right? And um, this is how we sh we're we supposed to be looking at it. But, you know, the Vatican doesn't want you to know. But one thing I did notice, one thing that brought to my attention why I'm, look, I'm showing up this map is because I've traveled a lot around the world, all right? I've been to a lot of places traveling, and most of those times I've been flying. Now, the reason why I, I bring this up is because most flights, um, you, you've probably heard um, most times that... Um, the transatlantic, you know, route is a very, very busy route. Now, why is that so? Just by looking at this map, you can see this is the tip of Alaska over here in Russia and Russia. And here is America, right? And here is Europe, right? You should now see the reason why the transatlantic uh, flight goes through this area because this is the Atlantic Ocean into Europe which is all over here you have England like right here Denmark around there and this is the tip of Spain and all that so every flight goes through this way because it's shorter even if you're going to um, you want to reach a place like Australia what they usually do is fly you down into Europe here and then go straight down because it's shorter flying that way if you were to fly this other way the Pacific route it's a very long route it's not economical for planes because you're burning more jet fuel than usual now the reason why I'm talking all about this is because I, I, I've been thinking you know these are my thoughts from here on now so please nobody should ask me questions i'm just sharing what i think okay these are my thoughts i have no facts on the next couple of statements that i'm gonna make these are just my thoughts all right now so what happened here was um there was one time I, no, let me say one time um a couple of times i've noticed that any time i fly through uh the transatlantic route once we get to Greenland because this is Greenland right here let me try to blow this up if I can so Greenland is right around here and this is the continental United States if I fly through the United States down way down here into Europe somewhere around here I notice there's always a lot of turbulence 
around this point. Once you get to Greenland and get past it as you're heading to Europe, there's always a lot of turbulence. Because I remember one time flying, uh, if I can remember the flight, the flight was a Virgin Atlantic flight to London, England. There was so much turbulence that we, me as a person, I thought the plane was going to crash. All right? That there was no way we we're going to make it out of this flight alive. It was very, very horrible. I mean, people were crying inside the, uh, the flight. They were, I mean, people were hysterical, you know, all over because it was horrible. It was horrible. We had turbulence for close to like three fucking hours. I'm not, uh, did I use that word? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be cursing here. We had turbulence for three hours. All right. And uh, it was so horrible, like the plane was like, like dropping out of the sky all the time. And people were crying, babies were crying, everybody was giving. I was like, I myself inside the flight, I was like, okay, this has to be it. Okay, thank you, Father. I'm fine. Let's go. All right? I thought that was going to be it. Now, most times when I'm flying, still across the Atlantic, but not through that busy route right here in london london uh busy route here in greenland the other flights that go through this other area so if i'm going to places like uh, i would say like south africa or direct flight to like south africa uh direct flight to any, any place around that's uh you know in the southmost tip what i did notice that when we flew through at the atlantic through that side um there were there was less turbulence. It was smooth sailing. I, I don't ever recall having such a bad flight, right, to the southernmost tip of, like, uh, South Africa and having that much turbulence. So I started questioning a lot of things. Now, here is why I'm saying all this. If you guys know Every compass in the world points north. So if this is the true map of the world, that means every compass in the world points in this direction north here. All right? Right towards the center. So what is it at the center that makes all compasses point north? So here is my thought on what I'm thinking. Because the Vatican has quadrant off the southern pole. You can travel beyond a certain distance to the south pole and you can travel a certain distance up to the north pole which i'm talking about right here so the vatican has quadrant off the north pole you can travel beyond a certain distance it's like um, they, they, they seal it off all right you're not allowed to go in there so what i'm thinking in my mind is like there is some land right here in the north pole which is, uh, let me say, a magnet that has magnetic properties. I don't know what type. It, this is just my thoughts. Because based on the turbulence that I had, that, that I've had flying through the Atlantic route, I have to think that there is a mountain here, magnetic mountain in the middle. Of, no, but let's, let me say property properly. Magnetic land in the middle of the North Pole which the Vatican knows about. They don't want anybody going down there because it will still show you evidence that God created this world. Because if we notice everything that spins around us, all right, the sun, the moon, and stars all spin around this North Pole. That means there is something right in here that's controlling the constellation and the movement of the stars, all right? This is my thoughts, because based on the turbulence, because planes are made of metal, it seems like this magnetic north pole drags the plane. That's the reason why it has that much turbulence when you're flying over Greenland into the United Kingdom. But if you fly far lesser away from this magnetic north planes, there's far less turbulence. These are my thoughts based on the experiences that I've had flying across the transatlantic route closer to Greenland. And I just thought I should share this with people so they could understand because maybe they've gone through the same thing and they never ever knew what was going on. So those 
are my thoughts for now. So, um, before I get into um, Gabby Douglas, I want to talk about uh, one comment that a woman um, left me. Um, if you guys want to read the comments on this particular lady, you can actually go look. Uh, you can type in Kenna G right there. And the video would be the uh, Beyonce transgender transsexual fake twins pregnancy update part number six. All right. You can follow that right there. You can pause the video and you can go look up uh, this particular comment. Now, there's a reason why I'm bringing this up. Um, I won't talk about the details of the comment, but it is just something that she said that I thought I should talk about today. Right now. This lady said, uh, um, I am very careful in my word choice, but you seem to take issue with female subscribers more than you do males. And um, I was surprised at this statement. You know, I was really, really surprised because, I mean, if you read through the conversation of what we had, it had no need for her to say this because in the first place, even though I can see that there's a picture of a female profile uh, on this particular account that uh, it's commenting from, I have never met her in person. So I don't know if she's a real female because some people, you know, how some people can put up a picture of uh, uh, of someone on their profile page, but which is not them and just talk. Maybe a profile of your son, daughter. Uh, wife, girlfriend, or whoever that you like, a celebrity or whatever, but it's not really you, right? So when she said this, I was like, why would she say such a thing if she's really she? Because I don't even know her. So for her to even say that I take um, issue with female subscribers more than I do with males on this particular channel, I try to be as fair as possible. If I'm blunt to one person, because people mistake me being blunt for being rude. I just like saying the truth or saying, I don't know how to mix words. I, I just say it like it is. That's the best way I can put it. So maybe she's heard that I, I addressed her this way and, and she's saying that I have, um, you know, problem with female subscribers. But what she doesn't know is that. I have a lot of respect for women. I have a mother. I'm very respectful of my mom. I have met so many great, good women. I respect women more than anything. In in short, if if I if 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 I don't know how the best way to say it, but in my opinion, all right. Women are a gift because they are the foundation of this world that we live in. So I don't see how anybody should not respect a woman. Okay? Now, why am I saying all this? I'm saying this because I want to address women to know who they are. Because when you know who you are, you're going to be what you are. Now... One of the things I wanted to say is that Kennedy right here doesn't know who she is if if the person from that account is actually a she. Because she doesn't know for a fact that women are the most are the strongest biologically of our own species. What am I saying? A woman biologically is stronger than a male a man just has more strength than a female because he has much more testosterone which builds muscle which equals strength but biologically all right women are stronger than men so what am I saying for example a woman is built to carry two or more people biologically a man is not built that way so that's why a woman is far stronger so a woman for example females in general live longer than males a woman recovers quickly from sickness more than a man 
A female has a shorter recovery time in anything that she does. If she's working out, she has a shorter recovery time than a man. She's biologically stronger, all right, than men. And they're the foundation of this world because anybody that comes through this world comes through a woman. So you can see how strong that is. Men are the pillars of the world, are the pillars of society, but women are the foundation of it. Okay? So this is why I had to, you know, just bring this up to um to make a woman or women understand that they are the biologically superior beings to us men in this world and they should not think of themselves any lesser all right now what am i saying am i saying because women are biologically stronger that they are equal to a man of course not i'm not saying that because let, let's judge from you know facts now all right a woman carries xx chromosome a man carries xy so right there you're not equal you carry xx he carries both of you and some of him you're not equal also a man's brain usually in most cases let me not say usually a man's brain is 10 percent bigger than that of a female so right there you guys can be equal all right the only thing that's making the this whole propaganda you know of uh, you know making women to believe that are equal to men is because the vatican wants to effeminize dudes because they know women can never be equal to a man they know that so what they do is to effeminize the dudes right by taking away their manhood taking away the right to be a man and then masculize the men the women which they know will never happen so they force feed all this into you know the the female consciousness that they can be like dudes it's it's a lie it is not possible okay so women have a lot of power but they don't just know that so for example let me just give you a typical uh example best way i could say it a man and a woman all right a man the story that maybe you probably heard this song before that um i'm trying to recall who the singer is i think it's michael bolton when a man loves a woman he'll sleep out in the rain or so, something like that you know when a man loves a woman he will do anything and that's why that's how women are supposed to know that they are strong because you can talk to the man who loves you and he will do anything for you all right so that's the strength that women have all right so the the reason why i'm talking all all, all this is because um it's been so successful that the vatican has effeminized men because it knows that successful women can never be pillars of society because it's not in them to do so because once that's done once that they can uh, effeminize men there is nobody to stand up to them to the vatican because a woman can never do what a man does it's not just built they were not just built that way they were built as foundations the start of for life and men are supposed to be the pillars that means everything else is supposed to be on top of the men so the reason why um like like i've said that they keep doing this is because they take away the manhood of the man they effeminize the men so that there is nobody to stand up to them so typical example i could use maybe this is can be very very clear uh, and you could understand for example i've said in a lot of videos and now i'm not going to answer any question based on this because uh the next comments I've, i'm going to talk about right now uh i've said it on the shakira video i've said it on the caven bacon video so i'm using this as an example in this particular video to, of what i'm going to say now 
The best example I can put is this. When the Vatican is masculinizing people, the first step, uh, sorry, feminizing uh, people, feminizing men, the first step they do is that they make men to be in touch with their emotions. All right? So you can see right now that there's a lot of, um, you know, I mean, you have a lot of men acting like women nowadays. So, for example, you find that men are gossiping. Uh, they talk about sports like it's uh, they live for sports like their lives cannot go on without sports. You talk about clothes and shoes like females should. And I mean, they beef on social media like a woman should. I mean, when a man is supposed to like, you know, act like a man, if you have a problem with another man, you call him up on the phone. All right. And not be putting it up on social media. They don't even know what the meaning of social media is for. All right. They beef on social media like females. They can't sit down and talk like men. I mean, that's how it's so sad that, um, you know, the Vatican has effeminized men up to this point. All right. It, 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 it's horrible. So, for example, that's that's one of the steps. All right. In the effeminization of men is to make men to be in touch with the emotions. Men are not supposed to be leading from the emotions, but they're supposed to be leading from their reasoning. All right, not from their emotions. There's a reason why a woman is led from her emotions is because she's the foundation of this world. If she's not emotionally attached to it, she can make it work. That's just the way it is. So it, it, it's more like if you build something, all right, when you build a foundation for anything, the first thing you have to pour in is called mortar all right or oh, they call it is it the right word i think it's mortar it's made from it's made from cement you probably heard of that the first thing that is done when you're trying to build any house is you pour in mortar a mixture of cement and some other things to stick to the uh, stick to the ground and then from then you put uh, maybe your uh, whatever like rocks or whatever you have to build on like your concrete slabs and steel rods inside so the emotions of a woman all right the way I'm explaining the emotions of a woman is that mortar without that emotion she can't stick that's the best way I can explain it without the emotions of a female all right it won't stick without mortar all right the rocks or the concrete slabs will not stick does it make sense okay so that is the reason for the emotions uh, men are not supposed to be led from their emotions because i've said that before the, your emotions are for you it's for you to interact with your physical world all right it's not for you to be led by it but the vatican has been so successful in uh, effeminizing men that men are now such emotional creatures it is horrible they're even more emotional than the than the woman they are with it's crazy all right and now they've done all of this you know to everybody so w w one of the best ways i can uh, make it for example is like when the when the Vatican wants to bring down the pillars of society, it has to make sure that it takes out the males. So in this example, I'm using black males. Now, the reason why a lot of black males are in prison, not because they are doing more wrong than anybody else, is because the Vatican wants to weaken the black population. Why is it interested in weakening the black population, as I've said on the Shakiri video? Because the natural one, natural tendency for all human beings is to be black. That's the natural state. Now, secondly, the propaganda campaign that black people in the Americas came from Africa is a lie. All right? Now, since men are supposed to be the pillars of society because men are supposed to teach children and teach their younger ones pass on their history pass on knowledge so they can grow so when you take out the males who are supposed to be the pillars of society what do you have you have no knowledge left in the society so in this example 
they've taken out the black males to prison. All right. So they are no longer there to build the society and to let their people know the real knowledge of their history that they did not come from Africa, but they are the native aboriginal people of the Americas. Because the one thing that the Vatican doesn't play with, they can get away with everything else. But there are two things, or like say three things, that brings the Vac that will bring the Vatican down very, very quickly. One is God Almighty. So anything that has to do with God, they have to counter it on every basis because it will bring them down quick. The second thing is the Bible, the King James Bible and the Geneva Bible. All right, because they had nothing to do with his translation or how those Bibles came about, especially the Geneva Bible, which contains the notes which let people know that the Vatican is the enemy of all humanity. All right, so they want they want the lesser of the two evils since the um, the uh, King James Bible, which was translated by King James, right, because he was Protestant remove the notes that the Geneva Bible had, they want people to read that more. So that's why in all, you know, the indoctrination centers called churches, they go after the King James because it doesn't contain those notes. So that's the second thing that the, uh, uh, the, that the Vatican doesn't want you, uh, want people to be aware of. The third thing is race. Because once everybody understands, all right, what race is about, it points its hand directly at the Vatican. Now, why am I saying so? Now, the Vatican today, right, is a white Vatican. It wasn't always white. The current iteration right now is white. And since the natural tendency, the natural state of all human beings is to be black, all right, the Vatican doesn't want people to know that. So every now and then, so when the subject of race comes up, they have to make sure that people don't understand it. Understand that we are all black. And as I've said before in the Shakira video, if you want to, I don't want to talk about it too much. That white people are black people who have lost the ability to produce melanin is a genetic abnormality. All right, that's all what it is. But the Vatican, who is white, doesn't want you to know that because they want to remain in power. I mean, if you want to remain in power, you have to have a population that looks like you that you're ruling over, otherwise, you can be in power. That's just the way it is. So they don't want people. Race is a very sensitive subject. So that's why I like talking about because the Vatican has made it that sensitive. So people don't understand what's really going on. So those are one of the three things that they, as much as possible, don't want people to have any knowledge of from. from. Because once you know about a race, then you know that the people who are running it are actually white. So every now and then, why do they misconstrue all sorts of things all right and do not let people know that blacks have been all right and are still the aboriginal indigenous native people of all lands so for example jamaicans are the natives to their land there are not slaves from africa the australian black aboriginal people which the vatican has slaughtered and almost exterminated right are the natives and aboriginal people of their own land. Those black Australians with nappy hair. The blacks of Tasmania, which the Vatican had totally wiped out, these people don't exist anymore, were original, the aboriginal people, or native indigenous to their own lands. They were not from Africa. The blacks in Belize, all right, are native to their lands. They are not slaves who were transported from Africa and got lost on their way back and landed there. No, they are the natives of their own land. The black Samoans, they are natives of their own land. The blacks from Barbados, 
They're natives to their own land. The Dominicans, they're natives to their own land. And so have blacks been native to all lands of the world. It doesn't matter if it's Asia or Europe. Because the Vatican doesn't want people to know this. So they keep propagating race to keep themselves in power. So every now and then, when they notice, because the Vatican looks upon this and say, every 10 years, because the natural state of human beings is to be black. So every 10 years, because as long as you have black people around, they're always going to be mixing around. And since being black is the natural state, it will go black. So what the Vatican does every year is after maybe every 10 years, they now take a look at the population. If they see that the population is getting darker, which means they don't have any people to support them as the ruling clan or people that they should rule over so they can stay in power, they go to China and Asia and bring all these Asians, light-skinned Asians, all right, or Arabians, into the United States or Europe as the case may be to make sure that they can still keep the balance all right of the whiteness that's what the Vatican does so new year of all these crazy immigration policies that were happening throughout last year in Europe and saying that they were moving people and that uh, Europe was talking about you know immigration laws and all that stuff it's to make sure that they maintain the whiteness in the population because the natural tendency is for it to go to being black or darker. And once you have that, these so-called white people who run the Vatican right now cannot be in power. They're going to be usurped. That's just what's going on. But to make people confused, they ship in a few black people all right, under those guise of immigration policy so you don't see the bigger picture. The real agenda behind. So that is what is really going on. So they, um, the Vatican itself, does all this to hide the truth about race. That we are all black. All right? They effeminize the dudes. And masculine, uh, masculines, uh, 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 the the females, and they know that a woman can never be as a man, all right, to weaken society, so that they can be the only ones in control. That's the reason for all the social programs in this world is to effeminize men, because if a man can't take care of his family, all right, and the woman just has to look to social services you've taken the man out of the picture he's become effeminate he's no longer a man that's just what it is so it was just my regular ramble that i just wanted to just share with you so you can understand what's um um really going on and that you know men should start you know acting like men because I, this is this thing is getting horrible because social media has turned men into some crazy crazy women you see 70 year old men acting like females it's horrible be a man grow some cojones and act like one take care of your family try to be a man all right do what men are supposed to do leave knowledge behind not just money, leave knowledge behind, not just cars and clothes which will fade away, but real knowledge. And build a society, be what God made you to be, be the pillars of society, support your women. So all that I said just because of what uh, Kennedy said right here. And so I want to get back to the subject of talking about Gabby Douglas. So before I get into Gabby Douglas as usual, always like playing a video clip so you can actually see where the female hip is at and so you know how it's uh, how it's measured all around the world standard where females hips are supposed to be at i'm gonna play the video and then i'll, I'll show you something from the document then we get to gabby Douglas. so here is the video i want you to notice where the female hip is at below the crutch See how the female flares like into like some sort of triangle. The widest point she keeps spreading and the widest point on where 
the spread terminates is below her crotch as this woman is going to measure a tape around so you can see that okay so the tape goes around and you can see that's the widest point sticking out there now she's going to turn around so you see where it's at below the crotch all right a female's hip always below the crotch and the widest point is just slightly above the bum line with a man a man's hip is always going to be above the crotch not below it like a female all right so let's get into the document and here is the document now a woman always has to have an arch in her back because she's going to be pregnant and she's going to carry the weight of children so she has to have an arch in the back for extra support to carry the weight of pregnancy all right so she always has a tilted pelvis forward because of that so a woman uh, so the baby can stay inside the womb now a man's back does not arch a man's back is straight if a man's back wants to arch it's going to arch outside like a d or a p i want you to remember those letters when you're looking for the arch a p or a d with a woman it's a c or an s a female's back will always arch more if she wants to bend her back outwards it's gonna arch more than a man it's gonna arch in such a way that it looks like a humpback for a female if she wants to bend it inwards it's gonna bend even more you're gonna see a very deep arch and a C because of the spine all right so it doesn't matter what the female looks like as I'm scrolling down I want to show you from my document so it doesn't matter if the female is small or big there's always gonna be a c-shaped arch in the back and the pelvis tilted forward doesn't matter if she's small like the female on my right or big as the female on my left she always has to have an arch in her back all right so it doesn't matter if the female's got muscles this is a muscular female you're still gonna see that arch in the back all right arch in the back so i want you to take note of that and let's go over to Gabby Douglas and show you what's wrong with Gabby. Now, here is Gabby. Remember, we showed you the female hip, all right? And we say the widest point in a female hip is supposed to be below the crutch, right? Below the crutch. Now, looking at this picture, where is the widest point on Gabby Douglas? I want you to make sure that this is Gabby just by the picture. Take a look again. Where is the widest point? Where does it tap her out? It's right here above the crutch showing you that Gabby was born male transgendered female some more pics as we go through all right here is another picture and what does Gabby have the straight back of a man there is no arch in that back it's straight up and down this is the back of a boy who has not been allowed to go through secondary male characteristics because he's been fed estrogen don't worry about the fake smile and makeup he probably doesn't really know or he probably knows and just can't tell because they're totally brainwashed totally brainwashed the brainwashing of these young children is at a level that I can't even begin to speak about it is horrible some more pictures of Gabby Look at Gabby again, and what do you see? Remember, I told you about the arch in the back of a man, or how I'm so not, not sorry, not the arch in the back of a man, but how a man's back looks like a P or a D. If you look at this, what does this back look like? Is it a P? Yes, it's straight. There's no arch in this back, it goes straight into the pelvis. If it was a woman, there would be a deep C in here so she can carry the weight of children some more pictures of Gabby and look at this look at the muscular structure now I can't say I'm not saying that women can have muscles women can have muscles if you're not taking any I mean normal women will have muscles if they're not taking any testosterone will be just like regular female muscle it's gonna be small it's not gonna have a lot of mass because a woman doesn't have uh, the testosterone centers as much as men do all right now look at this picture right here would you say that this is a woman no look at how dense the muscular structure is because this is a dude in heels and you can see how awkward this looks 
But this is what the so-called Vatican is going to pass off to you as a man. Oh, sorry, as a, a woman. And this has won all the gymnastic medals. Almost all of them in the Olympics. It's one of the greatest gymnasts of all time. They are all men. That's why they are beating up the females in the competition. Alright? Some more pictures. Look at Gabby again. Where is the widest point on Gabby's hips? Can you see that? Can you see where the comfort zone where Gabby is putting his hands at? Because I'm calling him a him now. Because he's a dude. Alright? Can you see how large those arms are? Because this is a dude. Not a woman. Some more pictures. Gabby again. Look at how wide that neck is. Now remember, a man has 10% more brain matter than a female. So because of that, he has a larger cranial space to carry all that weight. Now because of the larger cranial head, there has to be a wide, in neck, a wide enough support base to support the heavy stuff on top. Because it's normal in anything that you're building. If you have something heavy on top, you have to have a wide enough base below to support it. So that's why a man's neck is always wider and bigger and stronger than a female. Because he needs to support the heavy head, which has 10% more brain matter. Now looking at this, can you see that this is a dude? Alright, some more pictures. Can you see that again? And this is Gabby walk, uh, hugging one of uh, uh, his teammates so that we also have on this particular channel. I think that this is uh, Ali Raisman. But you can see the straightness of the back of Gabby. Straight. There's no arch in the back. Straight into the pelvis. And this is the pelvis right here. This bum area down here. Two males. And this is Gabby that I think... Uh, sorry, this is Ali Raisman and you can see this is a male too. We already have a video on uh, Ali Raisman. You can actually go look that up. But the widest point as you can see right here is above the crutch, not below it. Remember I told you, it's just going to be just below the bum line for a female, the hips. Alright? So more pictures of Gabby. Look at that again. Is that a man or a woman? Can you see that? That's a dude. Alright? A dude in makeup with a skirt. And someone's going to look at this and be attracted to it. That's why you can't have no role models that you watch on TV or people you trust. They are all working for the Vatican. And like I've said, they are all raised through surrogacy. All right? In virtual fertilized through surrogacy. That's how they bring these children into the world. Okay? So more pictures of Gabby. Look at that again. See that? It's a straight back. See, it's straight right here. Straight into the pelvis. There's no arch. I pity, I have some sort of pity for Gabby Douglas because I know they were taken as all children. But the reason why I don't pity them for too long is because this is what I say to a lot of people. Right? Because some people may say they don't know, um, they've been brainwashed, they'll just believe it. I always tell say this you may not have money, all right, to solve your problems. You may not have the power, you may not have the authority, all right, to solve your problems. But you have a mouth. You can always talk. No matter what has been taken away from you. Your mouth has not been taken away from you. Speak up. As long as you do not speak. That means you are in an agreement. With what is happening to you. So even though they may be victims. But as long as they are not speaking up. That means they love your servitude. So I have no pity for anyone like that because they are contributing to the problem all right some more pictures of gabby and look at that straight back straight into the pelvis can you see that straight back straight into the pelvis no arch okay some more pictures look at that where are the hips at where's the widest point on this hip right here can you guys take a look because this is all muscle the widest point is right there because this is the pelvis of a, of a dude. And look at that pubic arch. 90 degrees or less. No woman will have that kind of pubic arch. No matter how small the pubic arch of a female is. It's always going to be wider than that of a male. That's a fact. Alright. Some more pictures. Gabby again. Straight back. Straight. Straight. I'm going to blow this up as much as I can. Straight. Okay. Some more pictures. Look at that again. Straight back. Straight, 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 straight into the pelvis. No arch. Because this is a dude. 
Does it have a tilted pelvis here? Can you guys check and see? No, there's no tilted pelvis. If this is a woman, this til pelvis will be tilted forward, slanting forward. It wouldn't be this straight because this is the straightness of a man's pelvis. All right, some more pictures. Okay, so I think with that, let me just check and be sure if that's the last picture. So that was the last picture, all right? And we've come to the end of today's show. So like I usually say, because we have a lot of haters and agents on this channel, and I, and I just have to say this, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any sense for you to watch a stupid video and sit through the whole entire video and then leave a comment. It, it doesn't make any sense. If you find the video stupid, just skip it over and move over. Don't leave stupid comments. And you agents need to get a hold of yourselves. Leave the, leave the videos for the people who want to learn, all right? You go, there are all the channels you can do all that nonsense with. But not on this one, okay? Leave the videos for us. Let us be stupid because if you watch stupid videos, you become stupid. So if you think we're stupid, then leave us to our own stupidity, all right? So watch, subscribe, and I leave you with these words. Look with your eyes and see with your brain. Thanks. And bye-bye.